Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Roman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. I got a word from the engineer that this fan motor keeps getting stuck and he wants it replaced. Thank you Terra for joining the Jump Roman Tech. Today we're going to be replacing a evaporator fan motor for this low boy refrigerator. First things first, let's go ahead and turn off the power to the condensing unit. This is a split system. The condensing unit is in the basement. And then let's turn off the power. Here's our refrigeration rack. And this is going to be our circuit right here. It's honestly strange how they have this whole setup. Got these relays and I'm not going to get into that. I did do a service call on this previously. So let's just go ahead and turn the power off to this system literally plugs into a receptacle all right the system is now off as you can see our fan motor is slowing down this is actually a water-cooled split system that's our condenser coil right there water cooled condenser coil water regulating valve the reason you want to turn off your condensing unit while you're doing a evaporator fan motor change out is if you just kill power upstairs to the evaporator fan motor and this is still running we're gonna have a frozen coil so that's unplugged this power is not off. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and find the breaker to our indoor unit, which in this case is our refrigerator. And let's see what happens. Here's our breaker panel. See right here it says refrigerator. Here it says refrigerator. Let's go ahead and find the right one. Fan blades have stopped spinning, so the power is definitely off. Let's go and clear some of this out and drop this air handler cover. Cleared up some space. We have one, two, three, and four screws, and this whole thing should come down. All right, this one screw doesn't want to come out. It's like jammed in there, so we're gonna work like this quick fan blade test look how free that spins and look at this one so this one's definitely getting jammed out so let's go ahead and replace it so they don't have any issues in the future here I have a brand new fan motor simple 120 volt single phase two wires let's go ahead and start clearing some of this up so we can make this easier for us. Free up these wires. All right, so we have a black and a white wire. Black is gonna be our hotline, white is gonna be our neutral. There's just two connections here. These will need to be wire nutted, so go ahead and just cut those wires are out the way and from here we have pretty much just two screws holding this it's pretty simple one here one here simply gonna loosen up these two screws and the bracket should come off screws are off Here's our fan motor setup. Just to be a little more comfortable, I went ahead and took this downstairs. I'm gonna clean this up. As far as this fan blade, super easy. Literally just pull it out. Done. This little kit does come with two fan blades. This one too small. And this one should be okay. But maybe using the original fan blade is the better idea so we're gonna ahead and clean this up reuse that as far as this there's two screws here on this bracket just make sure we line this up the same way so i'm taking it off like this let's do that okay one screw two screws very simple and then this will just go on like that. 
This one has a nut and bolt setup. I'm just gonna start by just cleaning this with the fan blade. It's amazing what a little bit of maintenance could do. It looks brand new. This looks so much better. And these motors. And this thing looks ugly, dirty. This looks great. I love the blue color on that. So let's go ahead and set all this up. So the old motor, they just had this little screw and it went right in. This one has a threaded rod coming out and a little nut. So nuts and bolts, that's gonna be the only difference. We're gonna take off the nut. Slide it through. And close it with the nut. Got that set up, looks good. And it's actually just a 5 16 so I'm just gonna tighten that down. From here, we can put our fan blade back on. Slide it in. The only thing that could be a potential issue is that this shaft is a little bit longer, so it might get in the way of this cover. This cover just has two screws. You can pull that out, and I do have a solution for that. Let's get this out of the way and see how it fits. So when I lay this, shaft is getting in the way. So we're gonna take off that cover, then we're gonna mount this and wire it, and then have a little solution for this. So we're just gonna mount this in place and just put in our two screws. All right, so we have the new motor mounted. Here's our wires. These two gonna strip them back connected with these two and in reality it doesn't really matter which one goes where this will work all right so I got these two connected let's just go ahead and get some tie wraps and kneading all this up make sure these wires don't get caught in this fan blade all right everything looks nice and neat tucked away nothing's gonna get up in the way of the fan blade from here we can mount this back up and deal with that cover plate since this shaft is a little bit long the solution will be just to cut a hole in the middle here so the shaft kind of like sticks out a little so drill a hole and see how it fits I got this cover back on you see the shaft sticking out a little bit but everything looks good here so let's turn on the power and test this out Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you all next time.